Hello to me, it's Miko Sam Possible, Miko my name is Taffer16, and welcome back to another reaction video, and welcome to my reaction to Tenable. So, this is a channel of quest by Sean, thank you Sean for using your points, and this Tenable is a British game show that's presented by Warwick Davis, and it has been since November of 2016. Sally Lindsay actually uh, briefly produced, or produced, presented, I should say, some episodes in 2021, though. Uh, on each episode, five contestants attempt to win up to £125,000 by filling in lists of 10 items each. Uh, there's also a celebrity version called Tenable All-Stars, which aired sporadically in 2019. Uh, overall, there's been seven series, six regular and one All-Star series, which lasted for four episodes. There's also been four specials uh, for Christmas. And, well, actually, no, not just for Christmas. There was, let's see, there was an All-Star Christmas special, a Christmas Cracker special, and then two Soccer Aid specials. I'm not calling it Soccer. They called it Soccer. Uh, a grand total of 270, we add that together, 282 episodes all together. Uh, so this is about uh, about 45 minutes around there. The episode we're watching is from series 4, which means it's from 2019. Uh, so let's go ahead and watch it. Correction, it's from late series 4, so it might actually be from early 2020. Everything looking good? Yeah, we're all good. Hello and welcome to Tenable, the show where naming a top 10 can win you a top cash prize. For yeah. example, if I asked for the top 10 countries to visit for a weekend break and you said Ireland, that would be a corking good answer. <laughs> but if you said Australia, I'll tell you to didgery do one, mate. Oof. The more top 10s our team can beat, the greater their jackpot will be. So let's meet today's team. It's Is It Is It Wicked? Hello, Is It Is It Wicked? <laughs> So hold on. Doing, Hello, Boo. <laughs> so hold boo? on. Rewind. Why are your team called that? Well, basically, we're all is it in some shape or form. His thing. actual name is Boo. Fantastic. Okay, team, are you ready to play? Fuck it, why not? We are. Yeah. Then let's play Tedible. Bro, he probably had some fun with that. Okay, Somebody ever is kid. It, is it wicked? It's time like, to boo, and he's like, ah, oh, I mean, what? <laughs> The ten seeds and grains used in Allenson's ten seeds and grains loaf. Fuck me, so I Boo, know. as team captain, it's up to you to decide who's best equipped to tackle this top ten. We're going to go with Sean, I think, on this one. Okay, Sean, it's time to play tenable. Yeah, she knows how for it. So, Sean, welcome to the game. Welcome. How are you doing? Welcome, thank you <laughs> for welcoming me to my own show. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so, how are you doing? Okay. You're okay? <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, no, you're not. So, what do you think about the question? It's awful. Well, all you've got to do is use your loaf. Oh. oh. <laughs> so, what do you do for a living, Sean? I'm a psychology teacher. Are you? I am, yes. It sounds like you're very clever then. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I turned up at no my audience? psychologist and told him I felt like I was invisible. I think he this said, is pre I can't Actually, see you right it might now. have been during the beginning. <laughs> Feeling more relaxed now? No. Oh. I heard background laughter, but it kind of sounded like <laughs> Okay, Sean, then. it's time to take on a 10. Here's how the game works. You need five tenable answers to put £1,000 into your team's prize fund and guarantee your place in the final. Now, Sean, you have one life, which means you can make one mistake, but any more than that will eliminate you from the game. The team has three nominates to use across the show. If you can't think of an answer, you can nominate a teammate to provide one for you. Also, your team captain, Boo, can overall one of your answers. So, are you ready to play Tenable? Yes. That's the right answer. <laughs> Here's your question okay. again. The ten seeds and grains used in Allenson's ten seeds and grains loaf. That's such a weird Among question. Among the ingredients of Allenson's oh, no, no ten audience, seeds and grains loaf, there are ten ingredients that make up the seeds and grains. These are listed in brackets after the words mixed seeds and grains. We're looking for the names of those ten ingredients. This is according to allensonsbread.co.uk as of the 18th of June, 2019. Okay. All clear? Yes. All right then, Sean, best of luck. Thank you. When you're ready, let's get your first seed or grain on this list. I will go for sesame. Is sesame our first tenable answer? It's like Family Feud. It's <laughs> so dramatic. Hey, oh, hey, 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 hey. Oh, that's a good start. You opened with sesame, but <laughs> it was untenable. 
Oh. Oh, crumbs. Oh. Sean. Oh, mm. wonderful. So. OK. Are you going to be needing some help? <laughs> Got it. <laughs> OK, you've lost your life now, Sean. Okay. Be careful. Right. If you need help, they're there. But we will need some right answers to put some dough in the bank. <laughs> I'm going to kill myself. Okay. <laughs> Pumpkin. So, to keep you in the game, Sean, mm -hmm. is pumpkin our first tenable answer? Hey! Seeds. Well done, Sean. Well done, Sean. We're off and running here. OK, we will go for sunflower. Is sunflower tenable? Oh, no, is it? Ah, oh, damn it. I think about light. Yes, hey, nice! At the bottom of our list. Sorry, I was trying to multitask and fix my light. Now, Sean. <laughs> hey. Poppy. Poppy seed. OK. Is poppy tenable? Yes, it. Hey! Oh, yeah, well done. It's not too so bad, more. is it? You're getting the hang of this now, Sean. No, that, that's it now. I can't yeah. think of any of this. Yeah. That one, Sean, I'm really You've well. You've got three correct answers, two away from £1,000 and aim. a place in the final. Of course it is. Uh, you can do this. Pumpkin poppy. Well, I think I'm going to nominate. Ooh, who would you like to nominate? Kelly. Oh, Kelly. <laughs> <laughs> you don't look that impressed by that nomination. So can you help Sean with an answer here? Rye. That's all I can think of. So uh, Kelly thinks rye. Okay. Sean, you don't have to take her answer. Ignore it altogether, save it for later, or use it now. I'm going to use it. Are you? Yeah. You trust Kelly with this? Yeah. <laughs> so, to keep you Kelly in the game, trust Sean, herself. is rye a tenable answer? Is it? Probably not. But is it? Oh! Well, Let's go, Kelly. Kelly! Great use of the nominate there. One more, Sean. Ye of little faith, Sean. So you've got four correct answers. One away from £1,000 and a place in the final now. This is your last chance to nominate in your game and Boo's last chance to overrule. I'm going to have to nominate. I can't think of anything. Who would you like to nominate? Boo. Oh, Boo. That's me. Yeah. <laughs> so, do you know well, already used two. what could be in this list? We need a seed or a grain. The only thing I can think of, I don't think it is a seed or a grain, but is, is a lentil. So Boo thinks lentil. Now, you don't have to take his answer. Choose one of your own, save it for later, or just ignore it altogether. I'm going to ignore it. <laughs> you're ignoring it. Boo, you're being ignored. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah. Um, she always does worry. <laughs> got him. Oh, gosh. Fuck you, Boo. <laughs> I can't think. I just can't think. Well, think better, forehead. <sighs> we'll, go for we'll go for lentil. Go for lentil. Yeah, what Boo said. Yeah, and I can't think of anything else. So, for £1,000 and your place Bye. in the final, <laughs> is lentil our fifth tenable answer? No. It's not. Take it a trip through the vortex. Fatality. As you suspected, <laughs> yeah. uh, lentil is a pulse. Yeah. Unlucky, Sean. Sean, sadly, you haven't added any money to the prize fund and you haven't secured your place oh, in the dear. final. Bad That's luck. A <laughs> now, before we say farewell, though, let's reveal the names of these seeds and grains, shall we? Kelly, you got one right. You got I any more? I was thinking of barley. Mm hmm. Okay. Let's have a look, shall we? What's behind number six? Such a weird okay. question. Number five. Millet. Number four. Linseed. Uh, yeah. Number three, chia seeds. Oh. Ch -ch -ch chia good for constipation. <laughs> number two, buckwheat. Mm. And number one, barley. Ah. Somebody said, I think, yeah. Well, Sean, it's sad to say Kelly? you are terrible at tenable. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Goodbye. <Bye. laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> 
They say you return from the vortex twice as clever as you went in, but I'm still not sure that's going to be enough. <laughs> Team, you've got nothing in your prize fund so far, but let's see if you can change that. It's time to look at your next top ten. The okay, here we Stephen go. Stephen King novels with one-word titles. This is a good now, one. Now, Boo, as team captain, you need to decide which team member is the best person for this one. Oh, I'm going to have to put Paul forward for it. Paul, please join me to play terrible. Yep. <laughs> Hello, Paul. Hello. You don't look that thrilled to be up here. No, but someone's got to do it. Indeed. Much, <laughs> much like Sean before you. Now, so I understand you've been engaged for 12 years. I oh, indeed. I don't like rushing things. Uh, well, no. I can see that. Uh, you may find we hurry you along today, Paul. Uh, we've only got an hour. Yeah. <laughs> Are you like a farmer's market? Yeah, I do. Do you? I do. What do you like doing, browsing through the veg? Yeah, and just anything, all the local produce and that. They nice. do things that are a bit different, don't they? Do they? So. What have you discovered at a farmer's market? Sausages. Nice sausages. Things like that, yeah. A different. Scotch eggs. Yeah, they do them as well, yeah. You like a scotch yeah, egg? Yeah, yeah. Pickled onions? No. You don't like them or they ain't got them? No, I don't mind them, but they don't <laughs> specialise in them. No, they don't agree with me, to be mm. honest. No. No, no, they bring on my trouble. <laughs> so, are you ready to <laughs> play terrible? I am. Who's right. like, good Here God! Here we go, then. It's so awkward. The first ten Stephen King novels with <laughs> one-word titles. We're looking for the first ten published novels written by the author Stephen King that have a single word title. Yeah. This is according to his official website, stephenking.com. We're not including any titles of novellas, short stories, short story collections, or anthologies. We're also not including any books written by Stephen King under the pseudonym Richard Bachman. Is okay. that clear? Yeah. All right then, Paul. Good luck with this. Thanks. When you're ready, let's get a title on the board. Carrie. Here we go. Ooh. Is Carrie our first tenable answer? Hey! Nice. nice. First novel published in 1974. Well, um, it's a good Paul. start. Good Christine. shit. Christine. Is Christine in this list? Okay. There's Here you go, mate. Doing good. Doing good. It's a good start, this, Paul. It. Just focus. You're so, so focused, aren't you? Just focused. He said it. Is it oh, yeah. tenable? I wasn't sure if you heard him. <laughs> there we go. So it features Pennywise the Clown. Pretty sick. Well done, Paul. Now it gets a bit harder. Got three correct answers so far. Still got your life. One nominate, and Boo can still overrule. I'm trying to think, too. I would nominate, but I'm not sure they're that confident. I think I'm going to try red. Saying red. Yeah, I could be totally wrong, but. All right, let's have a look. That sound means your brother has hit the overall button, or as we're calling it today, the is that really what you call a sensible answer button? <laughs> Pooh, you don't like the sound of your brother's answer. Oh, no, no I'm probably going to regret it, but I just haven't heard of it, Red. Um, no? Are no, you an expert on Stephen King? No, but I just haven't... I can't see Red being there. Okay. Nice colour and all that, but, <laughs> <laughs> but I don't think it's there. OK, so you've overruled, nice and now you have to replace Paul's answer with one of your Good own. God, yo. I'm going to go for misery. Ooh. Right, so you're thinking misery. Now, before we find out whether that's correct, we have to see whether Paul's original answer is up there and whether you were right to overrule it. Your answer was red. Let's see. Is red tenable? So well played, Boo. Well done. Good overall. At least I'll get at I least home now, Warwick. Nice one. OK, so all is not over yet, though. We have to find out whether Boo's answer is tenable and will prevent you losing a life at this stage in the game. You said... Misery. Misery, Warwick. Is misery 
a tenable answer. Movie adaptation was incredible, that movie. If you haven't seen the film, Misery, it's fucking great. Yes, Good well job. played. Great use of the overall button there, Boo. So, oh. Paul, look at this. With the help of Boo, you have four correct answers on the board now. One away from that £1,000 and your place in the final. You still have the life. I don't think it's right. But orphan. Orphan. Uh. So, for £1,000 and your place in the final, is orphan our fifth tenable answer? So you've Sorry. lost the life now. Mm. Be careful. You're so close to that place in the final now. Yeah. Uh... But you could lose it all if you give me another untenable answer. You have got that nominate to help you. I'm going to have to try, Boo. So, Boo, we're back with you again, sir. Can you help your brother out for a second time in this game? Your answer could save him from the vortex. The only thing I can think of is two words, but I don't know. I think it's Dolores Claiborne or something like that it's called. OK, so, Paul, Boo thinks Dolores Claiborne. Mm. You don't have to take that. I don't think that's right. No, I don't think it is. But... Well, yeah, it's not one word, you idiot. <laughs> dark. You're saying dark. So, for £1,000 and your place in the final, is dark our fifth tenable answer? It's not. You're heading into the dark vortex. Got him. Oh, Paul, oh, that is untenable, I'm afraid. I thought so, but... So, oh, sadly, no. you haven't added any money to your prize fund and you haven't secured your place in the final. Bad luck. Unlucky, Paul. Unlucky, Lucky. indeed. Yeah, Good effort, matey. So, before we say goodbye, though, let's reveal these titles, shall we? Any ideas from anyone? Chris, you've been very quiet. Yeah, I have been quiet. <laughs> Again, it's, literature isn't my strong subject. Okay. I would have gone Annabelle, but that's probably not... Annabelle. Anything. Kelly, I can anything? only think of two words. No, we don't need them. <laughs> OK, let's have a look, shall we? Behind number 10, we have... Cell. Cell. Number 9. Dreamcatcher, ah, number 8. Fuck. Desperation. A bit like your game just then. <laughs> Number seven, Insomnia. Mm. Number three, Cujo. Ah. And number two, Firestarter. Ah, fuck. That brings this horror show to an end. <laughs> well, Paul, it saddens me to say you are terrible at Tenable. Goodbye. Goodbye. Right after the break, the next member of Is It Is It Wicked will try to give me enough right answers Put some money in their pot. Just sit still and you'll see if they will. Okay. I will sit so perfectly still that I cannot be still. Welcome back to Tenable, where Is It Is It Wicked have been battling away against some brain-boggling game boards. So far, Sean and Paul have failed to make it through to the final and they have banked nothing. Let's get straight on with our next top ten. The 10 women tennis players to be ranked world oh. number one for the longest time. So, Boo, who's the right person for this one? Well, I think it's only one, really. It's got to be Chris, I think. Chris, it's time to Chris play tennis. Okay. Welcome to the game, Chris. Thank you, Warwick. Now, you've told All us right, you're we'll a go karate with black belt. Gate. <laughs> Correct, yeah, third down, black belt. <laughs> they can't making that noise. Do you make that noise when you're practicing? <laughs> I'll add it in after. Do you? We add yes. it in after. <laughs> yeah, we don't have the budget on this show, so I have to do it as we go along. <laughs> so, are you ready to play tenable? I'm ready. Here we go, then. Come on, Chris. The ten women tennis players to be ranked world number one for the longest time. We're looking for the ten women to have been ranked as the world number one female singles tennis player for the greatest number of weeks in total. This is according to the Women's Tennis Association. This list is based on the rankings from the date of their inception in November 1975 up to the end of March 2019. OK. 
Okay. Is that clear? Yep. When you're ready, Chris, let's get your first player on Go the board. Go with Serena first. Uh, I think my first one would be Serena Williams. Yeah. Okay, let's see. It's the most obvious Is Serena one. Williams our first tenable answer? It's probably be number one. Oh, and it's just fair. It is. 15 love. It's a good start. Billie Jean King. Uh, I go for uh, Steffi Graf. Oh, a good one. Is Steffi Graf a tenable She's answer? She's definitely on there. She's definitely. No way she's not there. Yeah. There she is. World number one for 377 weeks. Okay, I'll go for Margaret Court. Okay. Is Margaret Court in this list? I don't think Venus would be on here. Well, maybe. I don't know. Ooh. Oh, you stuck that one in the net, Chris. Yes, not good. Thought so this list there. started in 1975. Margaret Court, bless her, was before that. Ah. Okay, the list even started. Okay, no problem. So you've lost the life. Be careful, Chris. Another incorrect answer would mean... Well, you know what it means, don't you? Yes. I'll join my friends. <laughs> I'm going to go for... Martina Navratilova. Let's have a look, shall we? Is Martina Navratilova a terrible answer? She spent 332 weeks as world number one. Okay. So, three correct answers. You got the top three answers there, in fact. So close to putting that first thousand pounds into your prize fund. Yeah. Can you be the hero of the team, Chris? I think I'll go for Serena's sister, Venus Williams. Okay. To take you one step It's a little bit of a risk, but 1, she might be on there. Pounds and a place in the final. Is Venus Williams a tenable answer? Maybe. No. Oh, Chris. She only spent 11 weeks as oh, world number yeah. one. Oh, I felt dear. like she wasn't going to be on the river. You haven't managed to add any money to the prize fund or secure your place in the final. Bad luck, Chris. Uh, before we say goodbye to you, Mm. Let's have a look at these missing answers. Uh, team over there, if Chris could have nominated, could you have helped? Billie Jean King, what? Martina Hingis. Well, that's it. Mm. Chris Everett, I would have gone for. Okay, let's have a look, shall we? Who's behind number 10? Simona Halep, 64 weeks for her. Number nine, Caroline mm. Wozniacki. Number eight, Lindsay Davenport. Number seven, Justine Enner. Number six, Monica Seles. Ah. Number five, Martina Hingis. And at number four, it's Chris Everts. Oh, wow, Billy was on there, 60 huh? weeks for her. It's a lot of familiar names there, yeah, I'm sure, Chris. Yeah, absolutely. But yeah. hard to recall under pressure. Yeah. Well, I hope there's room for you in that vortex. <laughs> As it saddens me to say, you are terrible at Tenable, Chris. Thank you. Goodbye. Off he goes into the vortex. It's remarkably safe, that thing. 90% of all contestants return with no adverse side effects whatsoever. <laughs> we have one more top ten for that team before Captain Vu faces his list and attempts to win back Sean, Paul and Chris ahead of the final. Their prize fund currently stands wow, the at zero. Looks a lot like but the <laughs> can they change that? Kelly, you're the only teammate left to play, so let's hope you're the right person luck, for this Kelly. one. Please join me to play Tenable. Oh boy, what you get? Kelly, welcome Hi. to the game. How are yes. you doing? Yeah, good, thank you. So you work for an agricultural company. Mm -hmm. uh, ever make it down to the farm? No. No. We're not allowed out of the office, really. Not allowed out of the <laughs> office? Well, they lock the doors when you it's get there? It's too unsafe, really. It's, it's unsafe. a lot of health and safety, so... A lot of yeah. mud. Yep. Yeah. You know, I won a farming award for just hanging around in my paddock. They say I was outstanding in my field. So, are you ready to play Tenable? I will give it a go. <laughs> you will indeed. You have no choice. <laughs> Here's your top ten. The ten words of five or more letters in a police caution. I'll just clarify this for you. 
we're looking for the 10 different words of five or more letters which are included in the official caution given by police. Oh. This is according to the wording in the section being arrested your rights it's on bullshit. the gov.uk <laughs> website as of the 17th of June 2019. This is to be bullshit. clear, the caution is the wording after the arrest statement. For example, it would come after Warwick Davis, I'm arresting you on suspicion of starring in too many Hollywood blockbusters. <laughs> so, Kelly, my first question to you is, have you ever been arrested? I have not, no. Do you watch police dramas? I have done, yes. Okay, well, I have done. I yeah. All right, Kelly, good luck with this. When are you ready? Let's My duty series is coming soon, board. by the way. <laughs> anything. Let's have a look. Is anything our first tenable answer? Ooh. There it is at the top of the list. Well done, Kelly. Evidence. Is evidence in this list? Court. Well done. Given. Is given in this list? Yep. Well played. Three correct answers on the board, Kelly. Just two away from £1,000. A much needed £1,000 <laughs> for your prize fund and a place in the final. You've still got a life, and Boo can still overrule here. Caught. So, to take you one step closer to £1,000 and a place in the final, is court tenable? Silent. Yes, it is. Okay, you got two well tries. Done, Kelly, this is going really well. You got two tries. You've still got your life. You've got four correct answers on the board, and you're one away from one thousand pounds and a place in the final. Yeah, you got two tries. Are you sure you haven't been arrested? <laughs> How can you really well. now? <laughs> You're being bullied, eh? Right, let me think. Okay, think. Look what's there. Remain. Later. So for £1,000 and a place in the final, is later our fifth tenable answer? Yes! That sublime sound means you've got five tenable answers Good job. and we'll add £1,000 to the prize fund. Well done, well, well, Kelly. Kelly. More importantly, though, it means you've won a place in the final. Now, you can stop here if you wish, but there are right. still five words up there left to reveal. If you think you know more, you can play on. Your next tenable answer is worth £2,500. But do be warned, if you choose to play on, you'll be on your own. You still do have a life, oh, okay. so you so can, can make one another. mistake. But any more than that will eliminate you from the game and will wipe the money you've banked. So look at what you've got there. Um... I'm just going to say the word police because I can't think of anything else. So, for £2,500, is police a tenable answer? I don't know. No. Kelly, that's untenable. So you've lost that life now. Yeah. Um, Unlucky, Kelly. Be careful here. Another untenable answer would mean you'll lose that place in the final <laughs> and the thousand pounds you've banked. I'm going back. <laughs> you want to play it safe here? Yeah, definitely. Sure. He's on his eye, indefinite. Going back yeah. to the cells. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. You decided to take the money. We'll add that one thousand pounds to your team prize fund, and you're guaranteed a place in the final with your captain. Uh, before we do sit down, though, let's reveal these words, shall we? Uh, Boo, could you have helped? Yeah, I was thinking um, against. Let's have a look, shall we? Hmm. What's behind number six? Which? Which? So that is later, which you later yeah. rely on in court. Number five, something. Number four, questioned. Number three, mention. Number two, defense. Hmm. 
but it may harm your defence if you do not mention, when questioned, something which you later rely on in court. Yep. There you go. I do know that well, and I don't know why. <laughs> don't know how I know you're that. Surely so not well. been in trouble with the law, were <laughs> White Davis never been arrested, just for the record. <laughs> Mm. Well, Kelly, you've added £1,000 to your prize fund and you'll be back later on to play for it Thank in the you. final. Congratulations! Good job, Kelly. After the break, Captain Boo takes on today's penultimate Tower of Ten as he battles to rescue his lost teammate and boost that bank before our final game. Can they turn that board into bucks? To find out, stay right there. OK. That's why I have much of a choice. I mean, I do. I can just turn this off, but I'm not going <laughs> to. Welcome back to Tenable, where we've been testing Is It, Is It Wicked on a series of viciously vexing top 10 game boards. There's just one more chance for the team to add to their £1,000 jackpot, and this time it's down to their skipper, Boo, to take on the tower. Now, Boo, as you're the captain, you'll definitely be taking part in the final, but this is your chance to get your team in the best possible shape before you play for the jackpot. Are you up to it? I believe I could be. All right, then, Boo. Please come and play Tenable. All right, you got this, Boo. Hello, Captain Boo. Hello, Warwick. So how happy are you with the team's performance so far? Well, if I'm honest with you, that was some tough questions. Yep. Great to have Kelly back. She's done really well. Um, yep. I just hope I get some of that on now and I'll bring some, um, some people back. So, yeah. you know, I'll have some more people on, on the bench. I was Great. getting a bit lonely there on my own. <laughs> You used to act. Yeah, I did, right, you know. Yeah. Done really good, you know. You did I, good. I, I could have been big. Yeah, right. really. And oh. I didn't really ever talk about it. Well, you're back face. on telly now. Well, this is it. This is my, this is yeah. my moment. You might I... get spotted. I'm hoping so. Yeah. yeah. I hear you do a Scooby Doo impression. It's more, like, more shaggy, really. Okay, give us some shaggy. So you're in the mystery machine. <laughs> I'm Fred, I'm driving. <laughs> Everything all right, shaggy? Like way to go, Scoob! <laughs> wow! Scooby Doo, where are you? That's fantastic. That's pretty good, yeah. That's really good. I'm quite I have no use whatsoever, but no, brilliant. No, it's not going to help me in my career, I don't know, but. That's brilliant. But it's, you know, it's. it's, it's Matthew Leonard punch in the air. I'm happy in the spotlight. No matter what I do now, <laughs> it's happened, I'm all right now. OK, Boo, is it, is it list time? Yes, it, yes, it is. <laughs> now, just like in previous rounds, there's another potential £25,000 up for grabs. As always, you need five correct answers to get onto the money ladder. But this time, on your fifth correct answer, you'll have a decision to make. Take the £1,000 for your prize fund or forgo the cash to win back either Sean, Paul or Chris. Now, they're waiting in the wings, desperate to help you win that jackpot, but first you've got to win them back. To do that, we need five correct answers. You've got one life, but your team have left you with no nominates. Oof. And, of course, because you're standing up here with me, you can't overrule yourself. So here we go, Boo. OK. It's time for your top ten. Top ten Ooh. most watched quiz shows of 2018. We're looking for the top ten most watched TV quiz shows of 2018. This is according to data from Barb, the Broadcasters Audience Research Board. Ooh. Good luck, Boo. When you're ready, let's get an answer on the board. All right, 2019. Did you like watching a quiz show? Yeah. yeah. Tenable is my favourite by far. Of course it is. You know? Of course it is. Creep. <laughs> but I've got, but I'm, I don't think that'll be on the board, though. I don't know why. <laughs> Nothing against it. I love it. Right, why? I'll start... Why? <laughs> Could be, I think it's more of a daytime thing. But lots of quiz shows are on in the daytime. I mean, uh, that's, they don't hold that against it. All right. I'll start with The Chase. OK, let's see. Is That's The Chase our first tenable answer? It's probably number one. Oh, There it is, at number two in the list. Right, right. OK. Tipping point. <laughs> well, that one that The Chase follows, and it is a quiz, but I have to answer questions in it, so... I've got a tipping point. Hey! Let's see, shall we? Is tipping point tenable? There it is at number six. Thank you, thank you. Afternoon, Ben. <laughs> That's Sean's favourite, Ben Shepherd. Yeah. Oh. She loves you too. Not me, then. No. no. Oh. Rather glad she's in the vortex right now. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, fuck you. <laughs> You've got two correct answers on the board. And I just, uh, can I just note something here yeah. for you? An observation I've just made. These are both daytime quiz shows. <laughs> no, you're right, you know. If I, if I don't say Teddy, well, you're going to have a right go. Oh, I've got no opinion. Right. I'm going to go <laughs> for eggheads. Eggheads. Just watch that. Mm. Is there an H in that? Well, yeah, 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 look, egg, egg heads. <laughs> but, Thank you. But, yeah, I mean... Thank uh, you for speaking properly on Yeah, yeah, sorry, sorry, that's just my... Um... I mean, you might get away with that on the chase or tipping point, but on here we like to speak proper. Oh, egg heads, Warwick. Thank you. The cube. <laughs> Is egg heads in this list? The cube, brothers. <laughs> Top three. Oh, egg fuck it, Hank. Fuck eggheads. So, Boo, you've lost your life now, mate. Oh, that be there. Yeah, it wasn't. Okay. The so Cube Brother. Still three answers <laughs> away from that money ladder, the chance to bring back a teammate or add £1,000 to your prize fund. Have you given any thought as to what you might like to do if you were to reach that fifth correct answer? Um, bring someone back or add more cash? Yeah, I'll probably bring someone back. Yeah. Who would that be? <laughs> oh, don't. That's, that's the worst thing. Is it? Deep down, I'm hoping I don't get done so I don't have to make the decision, really. <laughs> right, I'm going to go for... It, sort of, it made a bit of a comeback, sort of, last year. Who wants to be a millionaire? Oh. OK. Let's go, what? go for that, I think. Is who wants to be a millionaire a tenable answer? I heard, I heard Clarkson <laughs> might be leaving that. Top five. Oh, oh, there it is. Who wants to be a millionaire? Well played, Boo. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Three correct answers on the board now. Getting close to that five. <sighs> I've got to go for it, I think. I'll, I'll go for Tenable <laughs> and just hope. Let's say it like that. <laughs> I, don't, I don't think it's going to be there. I don't know why, but yeah, yeah, I I'd love it to be yeah. there, Warwick. <laughs> I'll go for <laughs> Tenable, Warwick. Lovely. Okay, so Boo, to keep you in the game. Never thought I'd say this. It's <laughs> tenable, tenable. <laughs> Your ratings in the toilet, Warwick. <laughs> oh, yes. let's go. I made the list. <laughs> I've never had any that. So yeah. <laughs> tenable there. Number 10 yeah. on the list. Yes, number 10. But it's on the list. In my mind, it's number one. Seriously, yeah. one. It sits there at number 10 with two million viewers. Two million. See, that's fantastic. Two million people there now watching. Or well, probably more. If I hadn't said that as well, can you imagine you, you wouldn't have, you wouldn't ever speak to me again, would you? <laughs> <laughs> so now you're just one answer away from either a thousand pounds or the chance to bring back a teammate. Okay. I'm kind of drawn blank, is. which is funny. Alan Carr's Epic Game Show. Uh, the, I'm just going to say 15 to 1. It's the only other quiz I can think of. But. Okay. I so haven't for seen £1,000 or the chance to bring back a teammate, is 15 to 1 our fifth tenable answer? Untenable. Oh, boo. I knew deep down it wasn't there. But... Well, sadly, you haven't added any money to the prize fund or won back Sean, Paul or Chris. But you're still in the final, so let's see if you can do any better there. Before you sit down, though, let's reveal these missing quiz shows. Kelly, any ideas? The only one I can think of is Pointless. Ah. Ah, good answer. That's BBC OK, one, let's have a look, it? shall we? Behind number nine, we have... Mastermind. Ah. Number eight. Only ah. Connect. Never heard that one. Uh, with Victoria Corrin yeah, Mitchell. Yeah, I've seen that one. Number seven. Universal ah, Challenge. I've seen that too. <laughs> Number five. The ah, I've seen that too. <laughs> oh, yeah, I like that as well. Number four. Pointless. Ah. That's what Kelly said. And number three. Britain's oh, wow. Brightest Family. What is that? 
Yeah, and Hegger, you that one? Yeah, that's the one, yeah. I don't know about that one. Well, unfortunately, Boo, you didn't add any money to your prize fund or bring back Sean, Paul or Chris, but we'll see you back in the final. Let's hear it for Boo. Oof. Wow, number 10 on the list. <laughs> mm hmm. Right, after the break, Captain Boo and Kelly of Is It Is It Wicked bid to snatch victory with a perfect final round. Can they fill every blank and empty their bank? One list to play, so don't go away. Oh, no. Welcome back to Tenable, where Is It Is It Wicked have two players in the final and will be playing for the lovely sum of £1,000. Well, Is It Is It Wicked... To take home that prize this time, you're going to have to give me every answer up there and achieve a perfect 10. Boo, as captain, you'll answer first. If your answer is 10, Good luck. you're safe, and I'll move on to Kelly. However, if it's incorrect, you'll be out of the game. Get 10 out of 10, though, and you'll be walking away with that £1,000. So how do you both feel? We'll give it our best shot. Give it a good go, yeah. Going to give it a good go? Yeah. yeah? We've got two heads, at least. <laughs> <so>. <laughs> Well, is it, is it wicked? Please step forward now to face your final top ten. Oh, God, what you got? For your final list, you have two categories to choose between. Let's take a look. Countries, pop music. So, what do you like the look of? Yeah, I pop think... Pop music. They're both sort of... I think we're edge it to music. pop... music. We edge it to pop music. You're going for pop music. We are, yeah. From this point on, there is no conferring. On your turn, you must say one answer and nothing else. Let's reveal your final top ten worth £1,000. The first ten words of four letters in Living on a Prayer by Bon Jovi. We're looking for the first ten different words that consist of exactly four letters in the lyrics to Living on a Prayer, the 1986 UK top ten single by Bon Jovi. This is after the spoken introduction, and we're not including contracted words with apostrophes, so weave is not a tenable answer. All clear? Yes. Boo, please take your position, sir. OK. So is this one of the songs you sing along to? It's not on my playlist. Oh, dear. What the fuck? Used. OK, Boo, when you're ready, please give us your first answer. Well, I'm going to start with used. Yeah. Let's see, is used our first tenable answer? That's on there. Yep, there it is, at the top of the list. Well done, Boo. Okay, Kelly. Work. Did you like leather and lace rock? Not really, no. <laughs> you know the song? Yeah, I do, yeah. Um, work. Is work. Tenable. Yep, well done, Kelly. I'm right, back. I'm back. You're back again. Comes right. around quick, doesn't it, when there's just two it of you? It does, yeah. Right. Down. Is down in this list? Yes, well done, Boo. Thank you. All right, then, Kelly, please step forward. So it's all going well so far. You've got three correct answers. Seven more to find. Have. Is have tenable? I'm afraid we have to say goodbye to you. Thank Thanks you. for playing. I'm lucky, Chuck. Oh, boo. It's just me, Warwick. It's just you, me, and the Tenable Tower with those seven missing answers. So Time. down to the team captain now to take it home for the team. They. Is they a tenable answer? Forget if the name at the beginning is Tommy or Johnny. 
Hey, you still work on the docks. It's is it Tommy? Oh, boo, that was untenable. Which means, unfortunately, you haven't managed to top the tower. And you won't be going home with that prize, man. You guys suck. Oh, bad luck, boo. <laughs> I know, well, when I said it, I knew it's, oh. it's meant to be went to the final suite. I think the next Oh, one. here come the rest of the team now to join you. They're going to jump you. Let's see inspired whilst backstage, shall we? Oh, Hello, welcome back, Chris. All right, Paul. So, could you uh, fill in the blanks here for us? Uh, bean. Oh, bean, Chris thing. Sean, anything? Docs. Five letters. Paul, how about oh, you? Yeah, oh. sorry. Oh. Okay. Okay, let's I thought it was. Shelly. I was thinking wrong. What's behind number ten? Hold. It's just number four. Nine. I thought maybe it was four or more. Says. I must have heard it incorrectly. So she says we've got to hold on. Hold yeah. on, dear. Number eight. What we've got. Love. Number seven. I was thinking four or oh. more. My bad. She brings home her pay for love for love. Number six. Gina. She works the diner all day. Gina Number five, all day. luck. Number three, Bean. Yep. Union's been on strike. Been on. He's okay. down on his luck. So there it is, the lyric. Love the song as well. It's a tricky one, that one, isn't it? Yeah. Well, you played a brilliant game today. You've been a lot of fun to have on the show. Thanks for being here. Thanks have you enjoyed for yourselves? Yes. Yeah. Thank you. Fantastic. Loved it. So there you have it. I really, really liked him, but is it, is it wicked? Must head home penniless. Bad luck, yeah, team. Suck. Join me next time <laughs> when five more contestants play Tenable. Goodbye. Oh, <laughs> well, I'm pretty sure correct your time recording, but not anymore. <laughs> Everything you heard here is live. It is Tommy. Tommy used to work on the... Do okay, I, I wasn't sure if it was Tommy or, or Johnny. Uh, that was... An interesting quiz. Um, the whole list of answers thing reminds me of Family Feud. Uh, which is, I, I don't know. Surely you guys probably had Family Feud, right? It was re it's really popular here. Still is. Um, but uh, it, it might be the most popular game show here now, to be honest. Um, it's the, the, the one that's still relative, that still regularly makes mainstream, I'd say. Um, but uh, it was a bit awkward to be... <laughs> The banter was a bit awkward, <laughs> but I do like Warwick's um, Warwick's bluntness. Uh, unfortunately, that team wasn't very good, but some of those prompts were just like, holy shit! <laughs> the fucking first one, name fucking grains of bread or whatever. Like, dear God, what what a what a one to start on, huh? Good lord. Well, thank you, Sean, uh, for using your points on this. I appreciate it. Uh, if we watch more in the future, maybe we'll watch one where people do better. Uh, but for now, that is going to do it for my reaction to Tenable. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you guys for watching. If you liked the video, be sure to leave a like. If you didn't like it, don't. If you want to follow any of my social media links, my Twitter, I stream every single day on my second channel. First thing to view is my Twitter. Follow me on my Patreon. If you want to support me on my daily motion, all things are in the video description down below, as well as Twitch Files channel, like me, Reddit. Thank you to also all my Patrons who can support me on my channel. For the like, we paid on me for some dollar one pound. You get extra reaction videos, as well as the reading comments up to date early, sometimes more. For all being said, though, my name is Taffer it's been my first fiction or maybe my only reaction i guess we'll see to tenable and i'll see you guys next time bye